again from Esoteric Trading Solutions. I hope you're all well. I hope you're looking after yourself, being kind to yourself, being kind to your family and friends, being kind to your beautiful animals, your putty cats, uh, being kind to all animals in the world, being kind to the environment. Uh, obviously we've seen a lot of climate change lately, which obviously is due to change in the environment. That's my belief. Uh, and please just be kind to people in the world just to make this a better place. Now today I'm going to look at IOTA again. Now the first YouTube I did on IOTA was back in December 2017 and I called it IOTA uh, a, a scam and I got a lot of <laughs> negative press from people uh, at that time because many people loved IOTA for God knows why. Uh, it traded up to some crazy levels and everyone was like pro IOTA but I've never ever liked IOTA. And I think I've been vindicated because now IOTA has had nothing but trouble with their system. A system, a technology system that doesn't work. Um, people actually lose money on it. Uh, money's gone missing. If you do a transaction IOTA in the past, it never worked for me. It never worked for my clients. I basically told my clients to stay away from it. I, I think it's uh, it doesn't work. The technology doesn't work at all. And people have lost money when you try and trade and act with IOTA, it just goes into the ether somewhere. So they call their system a different system, directed acrylic graph, a DAG system instead of an, uh, a traditional blockchain structure. And the reality is if you listen to tech techno guys or technology guys like uh, Nick Johnson, uh, from who was an Ethereum call developer, basically said he had severe reservations about IOTA uh, and, and its blockchain, so-called blockchain alternative. He actually believed it didn't work and it was impossible to work because it was a completely old type of uh, ternary that they were using, which is a bit too technical for me. But anyway, um, let me just go into this for people that don't know IOTA. Uh, they call themselves a network of things, devices using a directed acrylic graph DAG instead of a traditional blockchain structure. And this is from Mazario, uh, which I like. I don't get this for free, as I told you. I pay, I think, 30 US a month or something. So the history of uh, IOTA was to create some sort of uh, different technology and call themselves the Internet of Things, where they basically do small micro payments. Uh, the technology, they call it a tangle uh, and supposed to act as a, a public le ledger system. But honestly, they've had nothing but problems, it doesn't work. Uh, apparently it needs, you know, if you do anything on IOTA, you've got to try and uh, do, validate one of the transactions yourself <laughs> as a person. They say it's fee-less, but you don't pay any fees, but the reality is it's your time that you're giving up to actually validate a transaction, you as the user, which doesn't, it's never made sense to me. Uh, and honestly, I've used it and it's never worked, never. So to me, it's, it's basically, in my mind, a technology that doesn't work. Uh, and I said this back in December 2017, and I still believe it's a technology that doesn't work. Um, if we look at the recent stories, and obviously just going through, they did a launch, uh, according to Mazari, uh, back in 2015, 999.99 uh, million iota, and then they, they later changed its supply to 2.78 billion iota. Big difference from uh, 999 million to 2.78 billion. And that was done uh, in 2015, November and December of 2015. So there's an outstanding supply of this, uh, what's that, quite a bit, 2.779 bill. 6.6% went to the founders and project and, and the rest went to investors. And obviously, uh, you know, it, it says that it's there is no network-wide consensus, but instead local approvals between peers. And the thing is right with IOTA, the system is still centralized. 33% of transactions that go through have to be pushed by, pushed through 
through the admin, the administrators of the system. So I've never, ever liked IOTA, I have to say. And if we go into uh, Slack, uh, my um, uh, system that I obviously, you know, keep up to date, you'll see there's been a lot of problems with IOTA way back. Uh, you know, to, to trust, uh, you know, to, to trustworthiness of the platform, to basically uh, people losing their money, uh, coins uh, going lost in the ether, the mainnet being down. Uh, you know, this was uh, back in December. Uh, it was there was some network bug, uh, and the mainnet was down for 15 hours. If you look at IOTA over the time period, over time, it's been down a lot. Okay. Uh, and if we just go into this, and we'll just go over this story. Uh, every story, like over the last couple of years, have had nothing but issues with their technology, okay? No, more and more issues. Uh, according to GitHub submission from an IOTA developer, a bug in the Node software created a corrupt ledger state. And, uh, you know, it, didn't, it actually didn't account for a transaction that was shared between two distinct bundles. Uh, one is marked as account in one bundle, it was ignored for the next bundle, right? Um, so, you know, the engineers took some time, like a team took at least 15 hours to fix this. The, the, the founder, David Sontebo, said the bug was minor and it is really no different periods where the network had been spanned and thus transactions slow slow down significantly well i don't think it was minor because the technology just doesn't work right uh, over the years there's been no there's been nothing but trouble with this so-called technology um the the co-founder dominic shire sent an email the issue or originated with the current primary mainnet nod software and had nothing to do with the coordinator a special node that operates from the foundation which is responsible for the final confirmation of transactions on IOTA's, I wouldn't say decentralized, centralized network known as the Tangle. Now, this is what I said. Basically, the administrators and the founders have to basically validate or push through transactions because they don't have enough transactions going through the system for independent uh, validators. So really, uh, the IOTA system is not decentralized at all. It is a centralized system. And honestly, over time, they have had nothing but trouble with this technology. And I just don't believe this technology works. And uh, I can show you reports uh, to, that, to that degree. And interestingly enough, uh, if you look at my YouTube from December 2017, which goes into a lot more detail, it's pretty much nothing has changed. We're now looking at 2020, clearly. So um, I just, uh, and you know, these, uh, these found, founders have been known to be very arrogant as well. And they used to be like, and I'm sure I'm going to get flack for this YouTube, because certainly last time I did an IOTA YouTube, it was like the IOTA army and I got nothing but flack from the, I, the IOTA army, you know, seriously. And, um, you know, and I'm just trying to protect people because seriously, if something doesn't work, it doesn't work. And people lose their coins constantly, like they do with IOTA something is just not just not right okay what's happening here i'm running out of uh out of computer grind i must have too much stuff open won't be sick just going through another new story for for iota and people need to be aware of this as well uh, backlash hits on fund straight for publishing paid iota report right now, uh, Fundraid had supposedly been seen plugging the con controversial IOTA cryptocurrency to its clients. This comes after Fundstraight published a report that was allegedly commissioned and paid for by the IOTA uh, Foundation. Okay, now this is not very good at all because what this means is um, Fundstraight get paid from IOTA, the Foundation, and these guys, because they're being paid, uh, are obviously going to write a very, you know, positive report on, uh, on IOTA, regardless of whether the technology works or not, okay? And that, that is pretty unethical as far as I'm concerned. So they, you know, even if the technology doesn't work because they've been paid by uh, Dominic Shiner, who's the co-founder, uh, you know, people are going to buy this on this report and the technology doesn't work, which I think is just honestly uh, immoral I've got to say so people need to be aware that there are a lot of paid reports out there 
uh, that get commissioned by you know particular cryptocurrencies like IOTA and uh, they you know the technology itself doesn't work okay now IOTA technology hasn't worked for two two or three years at least that I know that I've been watching it um, now also we've got this legal threat going on so if we look into into slack and we get these stories up there's one thing after another with IOTA okay former IOTA board member threatens legal action against the founder and I don't know what that's about but former IOTA board member Sergei uh, Invacello recently announced that he would take legal action against David Son Sonsibo, founder of IOTA, for refusing to release the MIOTAs under his name, which were also allegedly misappropriation of funds. Uh, apparently, there's some uh, dispute revolves around 25 million MIOTAs, worth about 7.7 .7 million at the time of writing. Uh, Sustenza was quick to respond to the allegations, claiming that it was disheartening to see his partner of six years develop cold feet and go back on the previous agreement. What does it mean by cold feet? Maybe he knows that the technology doesn't work and he wants to get out fast. Um, I have to say, I'm very, when it comes to these members, uh, you know, in the past they haven't had a very good uh, reputation either. Son Stebo, uh, you know, has been very arrogant uh, to clients, I have to say, when there's been problems with IOTA and he's just literally, you know, whitewashed washed everything and put it under the rug, so to speak. Uh, but seriously, um, you know, there's got to be something wrong when a partner of six years is, is now trying to sue, you know, th this person when they were supposed to be, you know, in partnerships for six years. It obviously means that they don't, <laughs> they obviously don't have much of a very good relationship. So if we go to the next story, and I just want to bring this to, to people's attention, uh, you know, and this is just over the last couple of months. Uh, so obviously there's legal action going on, uh, which is, you know, not great. But uh, also if we keep looking through, we'll find that there's even more problems with IOTA, okay? Uh, if we, the next story I'll, I'll pull up here, uh, so again there's something not working properly and um you know it hasn't even been you know co-founder dominic shear said multiple companies want to see code test reviewed before they would go about integrating it so you know the thing is they haven't even really you know got a proper working model uh of technology which which bothers me i have to say uh and people need to be aware of that when they do bio bio by iota okay uh the next story we've got is we are currently investigating a suspicious situation with trinity please do not open or use trinity on desktop until further notice and that was on twitter uh and then we've basically got uh iota foundation investigates funds allegedly stolen from Trinity Watts uh, and this basically is uh, IOTA Foundation has put on warning regarding IOTA coin wallet Trinity uh, and its association with stolen funds. Uh, IOTA holders reportedly missed uh, missing coins. IOTA Foundation announced suspension of its network node called the coordinator while the entity explores the situation. Now the coordinator of the security, the so-called security of IOTA, uh, should be making sure that security is working. Uh, the coordinator is basically the administrator of the tech, of the so-called technology of IOTA. Uh, but obviously, funds and IOTA coins are still they've still gone missing even after two or, two or three years. Okay, so uh, again, they've still got this problem. Uh, the IOTA Foundation runs a coordinator, a node on the network to help prevent attacks. Now, don't forget, um, the coordinator will at least, according to IOTA, at least validate at least 33 to 40% of transactions, which makes IOTA centralized, not decentralized, centralized. Also, they don't have a lot of nodes compared to other cryptocurrency technologies out there like Ripple, which has, you know, well over a thousand, thirteen hundred or something. You know, Bitcoin has anything from nine thousand to twelve thousand, which I've seen, and Ethereum, from, uh, you know, nine to ten thousand. Okay, and this is the problem when you don't have many nodes and you've got coordinators pushing transactions through. The security of the technology is not going to be great. 
and coins can be stolen uh, off the technology and off the ledger okay so uh, this story um, people have lost clearly iota uh, coins the iota foundation released trinity a new wallet for iota storage okay now if you remember the old wallet that um, iota had a couple of years ago it actually didn't work if you ever tried to send iota coins there it just didn't work and you lost your iota now that happened to me and it happened to my, a lot of my clients about two and a half years ago and this stuff is still happening now this is supposed to be a new wallet uh, you know for iota storage and you know they can't even get that right you know honestly it's a lot of wallets out there all you have to do is white label a wallet basically buy a wallet off shelf white label and say it's your own uh, but these guys can't even get that right so I'm very suspicious about the technology I owe and it's just one coin I do not invest in I never had once I got bitten twice shy I had only a little bit of it and when clients were starting to complain to me about iota i just said no nah. this smells looks like you know very scammy technology to me okay and when you talk to the developers you know that the technology they're using is not a part of a binary system which is what all computer hardware systems use and software it's some other silly technology that was around back in you know the 1950s or something which is just old hat uh, and you know tangle sounds like a nice idea but it is a tangle of technology which you know in my mind just doesn't work uh, so the next day after looking at the issue I, iota foundation said thieves likely obtained victims private wallet keys well how did they do that the foundation noted approximately 10 cases of reported theft uh, which all involved trendy wallet wallet usage now the iota people always make out that it's the client's fault and this is what they do they always blame it on the client but the reality is to do anything with iota even if you try to process anything it's just too hard uh, as for a system that's going to process 10,000 transactions a second i don't think so more like one transaction every 24 hours and then if you try to send anything to their wallets it's just you know it's convoluted and then you know then you've got these security problems with a wallet and the wallet should be the basic of all stuff right generally as a rule but it's not um, uh, network transactions research also indicates only roughly 50 percent of the victims who reported the cases to the foundation at the time of the announcement i mean they say that they're they're fully transparent but i really don't believe this okay i have to say that um, then they've got uh, this is not the first bout of trouble I iota has been has been since there's been trouble since 19, uh, 2017 and it's exactly what I said this is not the first bout of trouble iota has seen since not, uh, 2017 the network has seen multiple functional problems including a 24-hour mainnet shutdown in December 2019 so uh, if you don't believe me give it a shot just try and do some transfer and, and uh, see how you go because seriously it's never worked this technology never and check out my YouTube I did to well over to December 2017 okay where I did say I believed it was a scam because it is as far as I'm concerned um, what else we got here so they're saying that iota Trinity wallet now is vulnerably reported uh, 1.6 million stolen so let's just have a quick squeeze of that sorry the system's very slow today i have to say which is sort of annoying um trinity wallet app has been compromised iota has had security issues in the past iota team has held the coordination uh held the coordinator and <coughs> excuse me are in currently investigating reports of a possible vulnerability in its trinity wallet. well i'd say so people if 1.6 million has already been lost and you know they've had nothing but problem in the past uh, again this is not great people have lost a lot of money and um, not great just stay away stay away I say um, looks uh, not great at all it certainly had issues in the past ongoing issues in the past I have to say um, again British hacker stole over 11 million iota tokens uh, in the past and you know if you if you look at just how many 
you know, how many malicious attacks have been on the IOTA technology in the wallets? It just goes on and on. And this is what I say about any cryptocurrency. You have to look at the technology and look at whether there's been hacks or vulnerabilities on the main net's been down or it just doesn't work because IOTA's main net has been down constantly over the last two years. And yet there's people out there, YouTubers that have no idea and constantly put down uh, Ripple's technology and XRP as the coin. Now, Ripple has done over 50 million ledger transactions since it's been in operation, since 2013 or whatever. The technology of Ripple has never had a hack and has never had any problems. And when you transfer your coins from one exchange to another, you know, it should take three seconds, but for the exchange holding on to those coins because of their own process, right? Now, you know, I can transfer uh, XRP from Bitfinex to Binance or back or anything else. And literally, you know, when things aren't busy, it comes to me within two seconds. You know, this technology of IOTAs is flawed and you can lose your coins. Absolutely. So just stay away from it. And I said this in 2017 and I got a lot of fat flack from the IOTA, uh, you know, let's put it this way, the IOTA rugby team, or you're going to call it the, the bully team, the IOTA bully team. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm just saying again, uh, nothing's changed uh, since I did my report. Looks like and smells like a scam. Absolutely. Um, you know, now they're saying they think they've lost between 300,000, 300, 1.2 million. Uh, but, you know, you, you, you'd know if you had proper, proper, um, seriously, if you had proper knowledge of your, your system. I mean, you know, Ripple would know in an instant, right? If there was ever, ever. Um, a hack, but there's never been a hack, right? So the important thing is not just to invest in a coin because a report says it's great, particularly when that report is getting paid for it by IOTA, you know, but you know, the technology doesn't work. So this other report says here, IOTA shows centralization woes as network and wallet gets put on pause. Um, you know, and I've said this for ages ago, the, the network is centralized, the technology doesn't work. So again, lots of accounts look like they've been a compromise. People are talking now one, what that? People are now talking a lot more than they think. And uh, there's all these different reports. So, you know, IOTA, as far as I'm concerned, shouldn't have any value at all. Um, what else we got here? I'll let, I'm not going to make this a long one today. I just want to bring it to people's attention. Still offline. Uh, they haven't fixed it. Everything's suspended. God knows if you're going to get your coins back. Anyway, guys, look at my YouTube back in December 2017. There was a lot more detail on this and the system, what problems I had. I read the white paper. I went into it in a lot of detail. But nothing's changed for, you know, since December 2017. I always thought it was a scam. It's just you know, the evidence is there as far as I'm concerned, the technology doesn't work. Okay, guys, please do look after yourself, be kind to yourself, be kind to your family and friends, be kind to you, particularly look after yourself, your health, your mental health, very important. Look after your beautiful putty cats. I miss my putty cats every day. I'm going back to Australia soon. Yay. March 7th, I've been in Amsterdam working here for a couple of months. Really looking forward to going home, seeing my family, all my beautiful friends. Uh, my beautiful putty cat, Telly, my older two, 18, <coughs> excuse me, Ezzie and Gussie, unfortunately, I had to put down last year. I miss them terribly. And please be kind to people in the world just to make this a better place. Thank you, and thank you for listening.